Hi guys, we have had lots of requests in the comments section for some cheap, student-friendly meals and considering Chinese New Year is just around the corner, I'm going to show you how to make my ultimate leftover fried rice. It is incredibly inexpensive to make and it is totally delicious and you can basically use whatever leftover vegetables you have in your fridge. Win-win! It's jam-packed full of great flavour and it makes a brilliant little midweek meal or even a lazy weekend dinner. To kick it off, add one tablespoon of sunflower oil into a large wok or a frying pan if you don't have a wok, and then bring that up to a nice smoking temperature. Once it's got to that point, add in two whisked eggs. And you want to stir fry these and then allow them to set, then stir fry them and allow them to set. Basically, you're making a very, very small omelette. As soon as your mini omelette is just set, remove it from the wok and set it aside on a plate. Using a knife or just a fork, break it up until you have small little pieces of egg. Now it's time to fry off the vegetables, so clean out your wok, add another little bit of oil if you need to, and then fry off two finely chopped garlic cloves, one red chilli, and a thumb-sized piece of ginger which has been finely chopped. Stir fry for one minute and then add in some spring onions, some carrot, and some finely chopped pepper. Continue to stir fry for about three to five minutes just until those vegetables have become really nice and tender. As soon as the vegetables are nice and tender, add in some cooled cooked rice, some leftover meat, I'm using some ham here, and then add in some frozen peas. Stir through one tablespoon of soy sauce and one teaspoon of sesame oil. And you want to give the whole wok a good toss through just until the rice is nice and warm through, those peas have defrosted and you've got lots of great flavour running through. Don't forget to add your egg back into the wok and give it all a good mix through. And that's it! Serve it up in some bowls, sprinkle over some chilli and some spring onions over the top and it is good to go. So there you have it, that is my ultimate leftover fried rice and I can tell you the smell in the kitchen right now is absolutely incredible. So I'm kind of excited about this taste test. So I'm gonna tuck in, try and get some rice, some of those lovely veggies and look, it's still steaming. How good does that look? Okay, stop talking. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. It's such a comforting dish, even though it's not what you'd think of as comfort food. You got that wonderful rice in there which is bumped up and has bulked out with the heat and all those wonderful seasonings. You know, it doesn't take too many ingredients. You've just got a little bit of soy sauce, a little bit of sesame oil, and it is something that is absolutely gorgeous. The great thing about this recipe is that it is completely adaptable. You can use chicken, you can use beef, you could use prawns, and you can use whatever vegetables you like in here. It's a really adaptable one. If you want the basic recipe, it is in the box below on my website. Check it out there. Leave me a comment telling me if you've ever made egg fried rice, and if you want to see more Asian dishes, what are they? Leave me a comment in the box below. Please give me a big thumbs up and of course subscribe to the channel. See you soon guys!